Good afternoon, Marti staff, and welcome to part three of our three-part series tutorial on how to enter in grades into your gradebook under Power Teacher. The first set of uh, the first tutorial was pretty much an informative video given to us by the Power Teacher company, uh, which just gave you some backgrounds on the gradebook. Part two of the tutorial series uh, actually was directed to the people who have been using the score sheet and gradebook under Power Teacher. Those people who have been using this as we've been going along, uh, as I said in the video, your final grade. Uh, will be exported out as a student grade unless you manually override that. Uh, this next part of our tutorial, part three, is actually directed to those people who have not been using Gradebook. And it's quite all right. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, as long as you've been keeping your grades outside, uh, whether the old Gradebook or another software program. Uh, but as long as you have a grade for them, I'm going to show you where to put that grade in order for it to be exported and put on the report card. First thing you got to do is actually uh, sign into Power School Power Teacher. Uh, once you do that, you will be getting to a screen like this. Uh, highlight the class right here that you want to give a final grade to. And once you plug that in and you have not used this before, this is what you should see. Okay. Now, in order to get uh, a final grade in for the marking period for your students, we have to, in this area, have final grades here. Uh, once we have final grades here, they will be exported out um, and put on the report cards. How do we do that? It's pretty simple. First thing we're going to do is go to Assignments, and you're just going to add one assignment and give it one grade, and that will turn into your final uh, my mark and period grade. So you're going to go to Assignments, you're going to click here on the little plus sign, and you're going to put here uh, final, uh, ooh, it's asking for my password again, that's not a problem, password, okay. Um, it's asking for, a, you're going to put final, uh, first, Marking period, grade. You can actually name this whatever you want. We just have to put an actual grade in uh, in order to give get a final grade for your uh, students. Make sure the most important part of this, again, if you have not been using the score sheet or this uh, Power Teacher Gradebook, the most important part is um, to add. Not All you're adding is one assignment, but more importantly is keeping this check in this box here, including final grade. You must have that checked in, okay? Then again, you can make this whatever you want. I'll put it as project, final first marking period grade, and we're good. I'm going to press save, and we should have that pop up on this list. There we go. So we're going to go back to score sheet, and again, you have the names of all your students, which is actually blocked out for this tutorial purpose. Don't want to give out any uh, information, vital information. But you will see uh, your grade, your students' names on this side. Uh, and then, now, to add your final grade for the marking period, what you need to do, uh, we created this assignment, which was called Final First Marking Period Grade. We made sure, again, very important, make sure that box with the uh, including final grade is checked off. And once here, then, you pretty much can just write in uh, whatever you want their final grades to be. So uh, let's, I'm just going across the board. Anyone. The most important part is to make sure over here you have your final grade. This is the grade you want on the report card, and that grade must be here. And the way you do that is simply add one uh, assignment. You can give it whatever category you want, and you add your final marking period grades here. You have to make sure there's only one assignment, because if you have multiple assignments now, it may be way different according to your uh, way of grades here. Again, this is only for people who have not been using this software to to uh, to keep up with their grades. However, this is a software we must use in order to input your final marking period grades. So once you have your grades here for all your students, and I'm just putting dummy grades just to get by this, um, uh, just to show you as an example. Okay, all my grades are in. I would press save here. Once I press save, all these final grades will be exported out and used as um, report card grades for the uh, uh, first marking period. Again, if you have any questions, we have all three tutorials on the YouTube page. Uh, and uh, please feel free to view these tutorials. You can fast forward, slow it up according to however you work. Um, and this is how you input your marking period grades. If you have any questions, 
please do not hesitate to email me or to just stop by 203. I'm in the back of 203, uh, and I can help you input uh, your grades if you need me to uh, 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 guide you in that process. Again, thank you for visiting uh, the tutorials, and have a great day.